Howdy. How's it going? So today we are going to cover a topic that I have teased about for a little bit now. We are going to talk about the wallpaper engine that you can get off of Steam. And I'm going to tell you why it is severely impacting your system and your battery life and your fan noise and pretty much everything about your system. We're going to cover benchmarks. We're going to cover before and after. This thing is just not a good program to be using on an Ally. If you want to use it on a desktop with a dedicated GPU and more RAM and a better CPU, be my guest, go ahead. But even then, I still don't recommend it. It's a cool program though. So I just want to take a quick second to thank everyone, whether this is your first time or you've been here a long time, you all are absolutely awesome. I really enjoy sharing my hardware ideas, my mods, projects I'm working on, or just something random off the cuff like this, or just something that's on my head. It's just great being able to have some people to share it with. And if there's ever any questions you have or anything I can do for you, definitely drop it in the comments below. I'm always really quick to get back to people. And with that, we're gonna hop in. So if you look here, we took a baseline of our system. This is showing about zero to 1% of the CPU and the GPU, and we're only using about 30% of our memory. And that is what it should be on a tuned system of this caliber. So if you look, our CPU and GPU, they're essentially sitting idle. There's nothing sitting here running, pinging them constantly. So our system, battery life on standby, just sitting at the desktop, surfing around, doing whatever, it's gonna be much better baseline than in a minute. Now, eh, yeah, I know. So CPU usage is up at about 10%. That goes as high as 20. Our memory is about 22% higher and our GPU is 33%. Like what in the world is going on? So even if you turn the effects down and you kind of like tune this program a good bit, it still stays up there pretty high and you'll see here in a minute why. But there's so many services associated with this program, it's pretty crazy. So right here, I'm gonna show you the temps and the program that you could use. For example, like HW Info, it's amazing. And there's my uh, NVMe temps. Those, uh, those uh, are really low, by the way. Go check out my mod for the NVMe if you haven't seen it. Next, we're gonna jump into Modern Warfare 2. This is my favorite game. I'm gonna show you at the main menu, using 96% of our RAM. Man, this is crazy. And you can see right here, this program, it's constantly pinging the CPU and it's constantly pinging the GPU. Bounces anywhere between three and 15 to 17%. And it is set to quote unquote pause while we are in a game. It does not actually exit the program while you are playing a game. It's still running and multiple services at that. So you can see right here, we're running the benchmark. The time is not perfectly synced up between these two videos, but you'll kind of get an idea. Just use your imagination or kind of like sync them in your own mind. You know what I mean? So, bam, bam, run up here, bam, 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 bam. run up these stairs. And bam, 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 bam. Now I do want to say, if you were playing a game like this, if you're running Active Wallpaper Engine, the 1% lows are going to be bad. And you're going to notice for sure. So here's the benchmark summary. Now if you look here is a more detailed breakdown of the benchmark summary. We're getting 81 FPS average versus 89. Believe me, those 1% lows and those 5% or whatever they want to call them. That's 26 and 22.8% lower. That's crazy. That's a big difference in FPS, and that's going to that's gonna really make a difference on how it feels while you're playing the game. So now we're going to look at the Forza benchmarks, and you're going to see it's about 7% lower on the average FPS and about 11.3% lower on our minimums, and then even our max FPS, we're still down 6%. We did increase the latency, which is not good. You don't want more latency on a game. And then we also added more stuttering. So it definitely did not feel near as smooth of an experience as it did before we had the wallpaper engine installed. So now we're gonna jump into a scene that I found to be probably the most important scene I recorded during Forza. This actually happened quite a bit while running this wallpaper engine right here. Boom, it exits and it goes to this low system memory. Why, 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 why this crap right here? Seriously, why would anyone wanna run this crap right here? Seriously, you're gonna run out of memory. It's gonna interrupt your game. It's gonna cause you an issue. If you're playing online, it's just not cool. And if you adjust the VRAM down to like two gigs, then you don't have enough VRAM. If you adjust down to four gigs, you don't have enough VRAM. So like five gigs is the sweet spot. 
if you look right here i've got the game at the loading screen you can see it's still using 96 percent of memory it's using a lot of the cpu but look at those services they're pinging the gpu still quite a good bit it'll be as low as like two percent then it'll randomly spike up to like 17 percent and so on still using a good bit on the cpu side as well a lot of memory it's just not a good program it's just constantly going to keep flickering between those numbers randomly now keep in mind that we actually are using a capture card for this footage right here so you might see a little bit of stuttering and stuff but anyways i digress i just don't think anybody should be using this program it's a cool program don't get me wrong it looks nice especially on desktops or if you're a youtuber and you're trying to like you know make a monitor look cool and you're trying to display a monitor or you're talking about your setup or something like that but something as crucial as a handheld like the rog ally just does not need this software installed on it at all it took up a ton of storage by the way some of these backgrounds can take anywhere between 200 megabytes all the way up to like two gigs um a lot of them are also kind of sus with uh things that are going on in the background i don't fully trust the program itself I don't really think it's something that you should just be all happy and over the moon about running on your system in general. Know what's on your system, know how it runs, benchmark your system and benchmark it often. That way you can know if you've got a game launcher that's lagging you down or you've got a program lagging you down or your settings or your temperature is thermal throttling you. There's so many different things that people are unaware of with their system, and it's very easy to find these things out. You can use a program like HW Info. It'll tell you, and that basically will give you a much better idea of what's going on inside your rig or your handheld. Uh, Asus, if you're listening, I love you guys. You made a great handheld. You know, there's a few caveats with it, of course, as every device would when you, you know, let people do a good technical analysis of it. You know, I found that the NVMe tents were a little hot. We fixed that with an easy mod that's something you guys could incorporate. You know, there's quite a few little workarounds that we've we found out. So it, it works good. One of the things that Asus, you guys could do, is implement a way to customize what temperatures and what settings you can see inside of the armory crate overlay like i would love to be able to see how much vram and how much ram i'm using as well as some more temperatures like the nvme temp for example there's quite a bit of use for those bits of info that will make people's kind of experience better by knowing the variables and know what could be affecting their system a lot of people are quick to blame a device for something that they are actually doing and not know that it's affecting it, just like this program. A lot of people think that they might have bad battery life or the fans are just running really loud sitting at the desktop, sitting idle. I don't have any of those issues, but I also don't run the wallpaper engine except for this test. So when I sit at my desktop idle or I'm like typing up on Notepad or I'm just like, you know, watching YouTube or doing anything like non intensive. You know, I get pretty good battery life and I don't have any issues with my fan noise being crazy loud either. As soon as I installed the program, like everything changed. I noticed way more system latency. I also noticed that loading games like Forza was really hit and miss. Uh, sometimes Forza would not load and I had to constantly like try to reopen the program, run it as administrator, this, that and the other. And I've only had that happen like once before and, and that was on like an older update and you know, the game update, it finally fixed itself. But I, I ran all these benchmarks before installing this program in the same day with the same software um, and, and it was not giving me issues. But as soon as I installed the active wallpaper engine, Forza just did not want to load right. I had to open it and close it like a million times sometimes. And then Modern Warfare, for example, Navigating through the menus was slower, like even navigating through the desktop was slower. The perceived overall impact to the system was very noticeable to me. Now, if I immediately installed this on day one, or I didn't really use it a whole lot uh, before I installed it, I might not notice as much of a difference. I might just throw it up to be, oh, that's just how the system is. But no, in fact, you can get much better out of your system. So if you care about your battery life, you care about the performance of your device and you care about things like fan noise and you, and you really want to get the most fps and the most pleasing game experience possible the most consistent frames get those one percent lows up it'll feel much less stuttery you'll notice a big difference by tuning your system not having active wallpaper engine installed just so much simple little things can make a big difference it all adds up at the end so if you like this video 
definitely leave me a comment below. If you disagree, let me know your findings and how it doesn't impact your system or this, that, and the other, because I know there's going to be people in the comments saying, you know, oh, my system runs fine, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure it might run fine. I'm sure it's playable. I'm sure it's usable, but I would uh, be, uh, be really happy to see some people download HW Info, run some benchmarks, check out your FPS in, in repeatable benchmarks, where you saw where I actually show the charts and, and an actual breakdown of everything, run some stuff like that. Let me know your findings, share it to me in the Discord, hit me up in the Discord. If you got any questions or comments, let me know. And with that, I'm going to head on out. I hope all y'all have a good afternoon, good evening, or good night.